The main knobs that you should be worried about are the main filter, the resonance and the distortion. These four buttons control the distortions and the different filter modes. We can also add some detune to the sound with the pre-flanger. The flanger is arranged before everything else in the pads, so it makes a big difference to the sound. You can manipulate the stereo separation of the sound with this slider. This slider does not affect the lower frequencies. The lower frequencies will always stay mono when you push them through this plugin. This slider only affects the frequencies over around 200 Hz. We have two different filtering modes. This does not make necessarily a huge difference to the sound. It mainly affects the lower frequencies passing through the filter. Here we have the peak frequency knob. If you want to use this, you need to turn on the peak fre frequency option. Frequency shifter is pretty simple to understand. In this case, I automated the frequency shifter, as you can see here. And by the way, the filter automation is the most important thing with these kind of sounds. If you are not familiar with Patcher, you don't need to worry about this mapping page at all. If it looks intimidating to you, there is nothing to worry about. You don't need to touch this at all when you are using these pads. Only thing that I suggest is this. If you find that this plugin does not have enough distortion for you, you can add a distortion before this plugin in the mixture chain or afterwards if you want. And if you add the plugin before this patch, it can make a huge, huge difference in the sound. Here is a few, few examples of the sounds that I made using only my kicks and this plugin. 